Hi, this is Erica Awakening from TopSmarter.com. Do you need a miracle right now? Think about your life in any area that's especially frustrating and seems especially hopeless. That's the area where you need a miracle. And the topic of today's video is, I need a miracle. I'm going to make this video general. I usually like to make them specific. But in this case, it, you could apply this video to any area. So maybe you need a money miracle. Maybe you need a relationship miracle. Maybe you need a miracle of physical healing. Maybe you just need some area of your life to get better. Better communication, better intuition, better relationship with God. That's actually very important. Um, just think of whatever it is that you need to get better. That's where you need a miracle. Okay? So we're just going to do general tapping today. I personally think specific tapping videos, especially in a series like my 30 day challenges, are a little more effective because we get to address lots and lots of specific issues and beliefs but sometimes it's good you just need some inspiration and a pick me up so to get the 30 day challenge programs go to tapsmarter.com slash store and then focus on whichever area of it your life it is that you need help with but we cover a lot of subjects there so whether it's money, sex, relationships, communication, intuition and lots of other issues. They're pretty much all covered by a 30-day challenge and you're going to be amazed the results you get. Topsmarter.com slash store. Now let's get started with the tapping on Karate Jump. Even though I need a miracle, I don't see how it's going to happen. My situation seems hopeless. Maybe I've been needing a miracle for quite a few years. And it hasn't come yet. Why would it come now? Or maybe this situation just seems too hopeless for a miracle. I don't think it's going to happen. I should just give up. I'm ready to be more powerful about this. Okay, let's stop and take a deep breath and go to the top of your head. And follow around the points with me. I need a miracle. It's not going to happen. This situation is hopeless. I don't think a miracle is going to come. How could this problem possibly get solved? I've already tried everything. In fact, the harder I work at it, sometimes the more it seems that I'm not making any progress at all. Whatever area of my life that I need a miracle I may be feeling a lot of pain, a lot of frustration, a lot of anguish, despair. It's not gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. Why should I even bother? To try anymore or get my hopes up I'm just gonna be disappointed I don't want to ask God for this miracle how many times have I prayed for something 
and I never got it. I just have to accept life the way it is. Life is never going to get better than this. If I can just accept my lot in life, then at least I won't be in resistance. I won't be hoping for something I'm never going to get. That hoping creates a lot of pain. I don't want pain anymore. I don't know how to ask for a miracle without experiencing pain that I don't already have the miracle. So I'd rather not even ask. I wonder if there's a better way. <laughs> if I don't ask for a miracle, I might never get it. This is quite a big dilemma here. I feel really stuck. <sighs> I don't know where to turn. I'm not sure I trust God enough to ask him for this miracle. He's let me down so many times. Or maybe I don't even feel worthy of asking. There are lots of other people who need miracles. Why should I be first in line? Maybe everyone's first in line. God doesn't have time, space restrictions. He can give everyone what they want. Nobody has to wait. So why have I been waiting for so long? I really need a miracle. I need a miracle. <laughs> It's hard for me to even admit how much I need a miracle. I feel pathetic. I feel sad. I feel like a loser crying about something like this. I should just be strong. I should pretend I'm above it. I should pretend I don't care. But that's not my truth. That is not my truth. I need a miracle. That is my truth. I deserve to have this problem solved. Nobody deserves to suffer. Everyone deserves a miracle. So why shouldn't I have one? This tremendous sadness. This fear that I'll ask and I won't receive. This fear that nothing's ever going to change for the better. This fear that it could even get worse. I need a miracle. I'm ready for a miracle. I need a miracle. What if I could have a miracle? I don't even want to hope for a miracle. It's too scary. It's too scary to ask and not know if or when I'm going to receive. 
It's too painful. But I need a miracle. I really need a miracle. This deep sadness. This part of me that's having a lot of trouble letting go and letting God. Allowing my miracle to come to me. I wonder if angels could help me. I'm not sure I even believe in angels. But what if they do exist? What if I could call on them now? What if they could do all the heavy lifting? And bring me this miracle that I need. No matter what kind of miracle it is. It could be money. It could be the healing of a relationship. It could be a physical healing. It could be a major realignment in my life. A reopening of communication. Giving me back something I lost. Mending a broken heart. A miracle could be anything. I need a miracle. I'm ready to be honest with myself about this. I need a miracle. I'm ready to feel worthy of asking for a miracle. <sighs> Openly and honestly. I'm also ready to feel worthy of receiving a miracle now. Because I deserve it. Every child of God deserves a miracle. And I am a child of God. God doesn't want me to suffer about this. I'm the only one who's been making myself suffer. What if I could accept divine assistance now? I'm open to receiving divine assistance now. I give myself permission to receive a miracle from God now. I'm ready for a total and complete turnaround in this situation. A total and complete healing. With no relapses. No steps backwards. A clean, pure miracle. That solves this problem forever. In a beautiful way. That serves my highest good. And also the highest good. Of everyone else involved. Thank you, God and angels, for bringing me this miracle now. I open my heart to receive this miracle. Ask and you will receive. 
I'm asking and receiving now. I'm so grateful for this miracle that is arriving now. Solving this problem forever. And bringing blessings for everyone involved in this situation. All right, take a deep breath. <sighs> it's pretty emotional. We get emotional in some of the videos. That's part of the power of holistic belief reprogramming. You don't get into the deep emotions. You don't usually have real change. And what my customers have reported to me is that a lot of the videos where I get the most emotional have turned out to be the most powerful videos for them. Because we're really going deep into the subconscious mind. So, don't be scared of a few tears. Remember that tears are a release. And when we release negative energy out of our body, we heal. I hope you'll join us for more videos. We have so many more videos. And they're creating so many miracles for our customers and clients here at TapSmarter.com. You can find a list at TapSmarter.com slash store. Or just go to the store tab and click on it. Get started there. We also have a membership program. And there you get a video about once a week. Timing varies a little, but it's about once a week. And those are really fun too. They're on a range of topics. So if you get the 30-day challenges, we're usually focused on one topic. If you join the membership program, we did cover different topics every week. If you want to learn more, tapsmarter.com slash store. And join us, because there are hundreds more videos where this one came from. This is Erica Awakening. I'll see you soon.